this is how it comes. Right, so today we have the uh, Bankley uh, airbag safety jacket. I'm just going to do a unveiling now. Uh, it's the first time I've opened it, so let's see what we have here. Mm. So, let's unfold it, let's see what we got here. Well, Alright, so, first impressions, good strong lead, um, got spring loaded there as well, so that's kind of cool, um, it feels very much like a textile jacket, um, it's got magnetic clips here, so that's the back part, when it inflates, got velcro, the name here so this will come off that's kind of handy and it's nice reflective strips uh, let's switch it over now good solid metal clips or adjusters on here like that's proper 600d material that's not that's not some cheap stuff when we open it up um, we got some tags oh and we got instructions these instructions are in chinese but thankfully i have google uh translate i'll download that and then i'll be able to read it so um yeah i thought they would have sent in english but uh they haven't but never mind uh, it's a fairly simple operation and I will Google Translate this and the vi the pictures are fairly simple. So uh, as long as you can read the pictures, everything should be okay. All right. Um, it also comes with some sweet grass. Um, so it actually smells like very much like a Ch an old Chinese store. Um, it's actually a nice smell um, and not too bad. So let's get through to the jacket. There's a bit of weight in it. You're talking about a, a kilo, kilo and a half here. Um, so there's all the tags. Um, now inside here, this is the canister. There's a cap here, and that will pull off. This is all. There's a brass end in there. I'm sure the camera gets that, and then we've got the ball. Follow through the lead, and then that's all metal construction. That looks pretty heavy, and that's probably the heaviest part of the jacket. So we'll put that on for the minute. We'll put it back on for the minute, and then that goes in. So your gas canister is going to go in here, and then once we have that, uh, and I'm ordering them in the next couple of days. So that's basically it. Um, said good heavy strap. Um, this feels. Good and solid, uh, and that's your connect and disconnect cable. So, um, yeah, this looks like it's wire inside, so that won't break too easy. So, let's have a look. We've got a, a removable neck piece, and then there's a washable insert in there. Uh, yeah, look, it's not. It's not the uh, CE approved stuff, but there is a back uh, pl plate in there. Um, I'd suggest that your jacket will have the better back plate and that will be the one that you'd use. You've got the back section here. Um, and then this flops down to protect your backside and plastic. So, basically, uh, yeah, overall impressions, uh, first impressions are, this. It's, it's actually quite good. It's very, it seems like it's very well made. Um, good quality, um, plenty of reflective stripes. It's black, so you get to be seen at night time. Only a little bit of the high vis, uh, which is nice. The bladder seems nice and strong. Uh, that membrane inside seems like it will inflate and deflate um, several times before it needs replacing. Um, and if you're unfortunate enough in an accident and you're sliding down the road, uh, this Cordra 600D 
feels like it will really kind of uh, will take a bit of a pun punishment. So as long as you don't tear or damage the bladder inside, um, you can basically reuse the jacket again, just replace your canister and then you're good to go. I think you, uh, it's definitely value for money. Um, and as a personal opinion, I think the brand name um, jackets have come a long way. They're, they're, they're quite good. It'll be nice to do a comparison beside each one. Um, but I do think they are quite pricey in terms of uh, what's already, you know, if you have your pants, your textile leather the jacket, your gloves, your helmet, and then to put another six or 700 euro on top of that for uh, an air safety uh, device seems a bit excessive to me. Now, uh, I'm one of those people who had one of those accidents where I was flying down the road um, at high speed in a, in a hit and run. Um, so, you know, I do know that the material uh, that I had, the safety gear that I had on, was a big factor in, in, in basically me surviving. That would be good, I think, with the, it, with the airbag um, inflation, uh, that will probably save a huge amount of injuries. Uh, so I think it is really, it is a necessary uh, and brilliant uh, idea to have for safety in terms of motorcycling. Um, I do think at the moment the price is very high. I think if that drops, then I think the uh, for the average biker this will become a lot more um, attractive um, in terms of safety and wearability and purchase price. So let's see how things go. Uh, we'll do some testing. I've got the 33 gram CO2, um, I've got the 38 gram CO2, and I've got a 60 gram CO2 that will be arriving in the mail. What we can do is we can actually do the test, inflate the bag, see how it stands up, because let's face it, at the end of the day, this device is only useful once. And that's basically when you are hitting something and doing a Superman impression down the road, that's when you want it to inflate, that's when you want it to work. And if it doesn't work at that particular point in time, it's a useless um, piece of equipment. Like a good lid, um, you only need it when you need it, and it's only when you're hitting tarmac, dirt, or tree, or metal, um, is the only time that you really want it to work. So it's gonna be very important to see how this inflates, how, how it stands up to some testing, uh, but I said first impressions, I think it's actually uh, a decent bit of kit. In conclusion guys, um, listen, this is a piece of safety equipment. Uh, I think at the moment the bigger brands are very expensive um, for what they are. Obviously, when you need it, you need it. And that's the bit that either keeps you intact with some injuries versus, uh, you know, extensive injuries. It, it is a valuable piece of equipment, um, well-designed, simple idea. Um, I think it will have great merit, particularly if you do get into an accident. And nobody expects to be in an accident, but when you do get into one, it's that's the bit where you want to rely on all of your safety equipment. Now again, this piece of equipment at this point in time looks solid, looks like it should do what it's meant to do. Um, but we will do some testing and the reason for testing is because it's a, a less expensive option and um, doesn't necessarily mean that it's a worse option but it's a less expensive option um, but realistically with any safety equipment the only time you need it is when you are in the process of an accident so whether you're doing a Superman impression off the bike into a tree into a car scraping down tarmac gravel um, wherever that may be that's the time that you need this this particular piece of, of um, th this particular device to work. So, given that um, basis, I think it's really important that we do some testing, make sure it's okay before we give it a, a kind of final approval and a tick. So we'll see how they inflate, how quickly they inflate. We'll try and work out, um, uh, you know, in terms of cord being pulled and complete inflation time then we will have slow motion and we'll be able to time it and work out exactly how slow or fast it takes to inflate. So, thanks very much for watching, appreciate it. Um, take care of yourselves and hopefully this has been informative and that you find it actually helps you in terms of 
your next purchase for a, an airbag a safety vest. Take care, have a great day, appreciate it.